Hey guys, um, this is my new build I'm making. I have a Swift Tech 480 rad with Gentle Typhoon's AP15 and some fangirls. Uh, a Exos PC RS240 with Gentle Typhoon's. Uh, I think it's some black Fesser tubing, 3 4 uh, 1 half. Uh, some compression fittings, kill coil, and um, Shin Etsu thermal grease. A EK 250mm uh, res. Some uh, I have six Gentle Typhoon AP 15. I'm looking to sell two of them. I have a 6990 water black for my Sapphire 6990. I think it's let's see if you can see that. Nickel and Excel, something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I have some Rip Jaws X timings is 68624 at 1.5 volt. I have a Samsung F3, my D5 pump, some fan extenders, a Samsung Blu ray drive, the Ripper XL from Extract. A brand new Maximus IV Extreme I got off Amazon. Uh, fan controller, some sleeved fan extender, a um, PSU extender. I have two Vertex two, uh, 3s, 120 gig, but I am looking to sell those two and I'm going to buy a 120 gig, the Max IOSP, whatever it's called. I have some CCFLs, and um, yeah, that's my build for now. I also have um, some things I want to sell. I have a brand new Maximus IV Extreme, brand new, never opened, and a P67 Deluxe. And the two AP15 fans, I told you. Uh, I'm going to go over to my room so you can see the rest of the build. Sorry for the mask, guys. I have a Radeon 6990 from Sapphire. A, a P67 Deluxe. A Samsung F3. That fan noise. Samsung F3, a cheapo DVD drive. I have that for sale if you want it. Um, I have a HX1000 from Corsair. I removed the fan and I put I had before a um AP15, but I had to use it for the radiator. But now I'm going to now that I have extras, I will put one in. I have a Sunbeam controller. And yeah, that's my build. I am going to show you now my case, which I modded. Oh yeah, I have the TV right there with the stereo and the build. Yes, <laughs> that was something. I'm going to show you the case. I've modded it so I could fit a 480 rad up top and a 240 in the bottom. This is it. Half X. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I got a little bored. Anyways, I cut um, the HDD cage a little. I left one support so it could hold on. Um, Cut it. I think I cut two of the drives slots in there. The 4.8. Oh, yeah, I also had to cut on this side. So the rack could go in there and sit flush. I am going to put a little fan grill if anybody has one for sale right there. So a lot of dust doesn't come in. I'm going to mount a, the 240, the 250 res, res right there. And the 480. It didn't quite fit. So I had to do some modding, yeah. 
I'm still missing. I have to cut that off with the Dremel. But I have the Dremel blades on order. They should come today. <laughs> Again, I got a little bored. I cut the supports it had right here. It had one of these right there and one right there to hold a 360 rod. But since I'm not using a 360, I cut that off. Um, I have to make some holes there to hold the rod. The compression fittings are going to go right there on this side. I cut that off. I have to make some holes to hold it right there. So I'm guessing four screws would be enough to hold it. Hopefully. Turn it around. Yeah, I mean, none of those that stuff is going to be visible. So I don't think I'm going to paint it. Because I don't want to mess the paint up with another color paint but if I do I'll let you guys know this is Alamo 695 with a built log and thank you very much